Sometimes, you might want to restrict the internet usage in your household. To reduce the amount of screen time in your house, you can easily set some limits if you have a CityWest router. This is an example of a CityWest router. We'll be going through instructions for how to access the back end of a router like this. If you have a third party router, please consult the operating manual for the internet restrictions. The first thing to do is to use the IP address that is being used to access the wireless network in your home. This is usually 192.168.1.1. Just type it into the URL in your browser and you should come to another screen. If you don't come to this screen and your browser says that it is timing out, please call us at 1-800-442-8664 and we will find out the IP address that is being used. The sign-in page will ask for a username and password. To find that out, look for a sticker affixed to the side of your router. If there's no sticker there, you may need to remove a plastic plate from your router. It's easy to do. You just slide the panel to the back of the router. Underneath, you'll see a silver sticker. Just make sure you don't knock out any wires when you do this. The username and password is located at the bottom right hand corner of the sticker. Write that information down or take a picture of it with your phone. Then type that information into the sign in page. You should come to a page that looks like this. Click on the wireless icon. Your CityWest Wi-Fi runs on two different frequencies, a 2.4 GHz and a 5.0 GHz frequency. You'll see both of these frequencies on the left hand side of the screen, and you'll need to change the password on both. Let's start with the 2.4 GHz frequency. Click on Security under 2.4G Network. You should see this for the security screen. At the bottom, you'll see you have two options for a password. You can use the automatically generated password from the network, or you can create your own. We recommend creating your own password. Click on the circle next to Use Custom Security Key, then type in the password you would like to use. There are lots of options on what makes a good password, but in general, it should be at least eight characters long and include a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, as well as numbers and special characters. Once you've typed in your password, now click the apply button. And that's it. You've changed your password for one of your networks. You will need to follow the same procedures for the 5G network. First, click on 5G network and then click security and then follow the same steps as the 2.4 gigahertz network. Now that you've changed your password, you can feel a bit more safer that you and your data are well protected. If you require any more information on this or any of CityWest's other products and services, please call 1-800-442-8664. Thank you for watching.